Hi everyone, welcome to Board of Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie, you're not, neither any of these blokes. This is Psy91, Psy91 from Kebab Clan, one of the better uh, names for a clan. In my opinion, Kebab, who doesn't love a big dirty Kebab? He's in the lands and sea in today's replay, today's ace tanker replay. He's got two marks of excellence on this bad boy, have a look at it. Looks absolutely fantastic. And when you hear the crew members talk, you might uh, you might recognise their voices. He's got the, the crew members from, uh, I think, from the uh, from the Prima Victoria, the Prima Victoria, the Sabatron tank, which is, which is the other tier 8 premium. Swedish medium tank. Anyway, the Lands and Sea is what we're looking at now. It's got uh, it's got a, a higher alpha damage gun than the Prima Victoria. The Prima Victoria has got a, like a, a British style gun. This has got 105 millimeter, 320 alpha damage, 208 penetration. That's with standard ammunition. Premium is 242, and I think he might have even started on standard ammunition, which is interesting when you're going for a three mark. But um, especially when it's APCR, I can understand sometimes. I can understand people using um, AP instead of heat if they're worried about um, hitting somebody in the tracks and and, uh, and not doing any damage because heat does struggle with tr with spaced armor including tracks just like AT does but APCR doesn't have that problem as a premium a premium bullet anyway Psy 91 from Kebab Clan in the lands and sea um, the lands and sea the other I mentioned the the Prima Victoria it's a little bit like a like a Centurion the Prima Victoria probably the, the tank that it resembles the most. Two ones a score. We're playing on Muravanka and it's in counter battle. So there's only one cap, but it takes a hell of a long time to cap. And uh, so both teams are going for the one cap. And of course, both teams want to want to kill all of the enemy as well. The 7032, 122, that's a double barrel, double penetration. Um, Russian premium heavy tank that came out around about Christmas Christmas time. He's clearly blind as a bat. Psy 91 has just spotted all of those tanks. The EBR, which was already lit. The SU 130PM. The M6A2E1. That's the mutant. Another 703 version two. I'm tipping this um, this game happened maybe maybe around about Christmas time when everybody was running around in the 703 version two. That um, any if every I think every single game every single game that I um, played at tier eight had these tanks in. Shoots and tracks the the mutant. Now that is that's part of a mission. He's also on a mission as well as trying to get a third mark of excellence. He's trying to um, trying to get a mission, and the mission is to track four enemy tanks and also cause damage to um, cause damage to an immobilized vehicle four times by shooting it. Three kills and a and a win will complete this mission with honors. Now I don't know at this stage. I don't know if he's uh, if he gets this mission in this game. Six sixty two damage done so far. Five ninety seven. So he got some. Uh, Assisted damage from spotting all of those tanks. A lot of tanks over there in the corner. The SU-130 PM, a loot, a loot box tank. Not a new one, but a loot box tank nonetheless. He shoots. Uh, I think he shot just before that SU-130 PM got killed. The Harpass one. But he still got the assisted damage. There. He's up to 821 assisted damage. 815 damage done as he gets a kill on the Lorraine 15551. Tier 8 um, French self-propelled gun getting some more spotting now as artillery is showing an interest in the mutant over there and of course if you're trying to mark a tank your spotting damage um your spotting damage not only helps your, your ace tank up but also your um also your mark of excellence now that we just saw, heard the mission noise you just got that mutant must have been tracked when sign 91 shot him that's uh, one of the four shots he needs to do into a tank to uh, to get that mission shoot a tank four times when they're tracked and also track four times it's a bit a bit hard to uh, explain. 6-3 uh, the score. We're looking pretty good on the scoreboard. 1,434 damage done. 1,053 assisted damage. The AT-15 shoots him. And uh, it looks like his tracks absorbed that shot. 6-3 the score. The uh, 703 still sitting in the cap circle. Of course, that's... Some people have got the 703. Uh, might not be up to uh, tier 8 yet. Doesn't realise you can probably go out and start shooting people. Go for a tracking shot on the T-44. Doesn't quite get the tracking shot, but does get another 282 hit points of damage. Looks at him again, shoots him again. This time a higher roll, 333. And uh, that the score still 7-4. Two, two friendly tanks tracking now. Shoots and tracks the uh, 703 version 2. 1-2-2 one, two, two for his second tracking shot and now he's gonna is he gonna try to do damage to him whilst he's tracked he does he gets that so that's two and two for those two two out of four for both of those conditions for uh, for mission number four stay still will you for the object 260 track four times he's done that twice damage a track vehicle four times he's done that twice as well nine for the score now that the um the, uh, the result is looking pretty good. Who needs to aim? Shoots and tracks the Centurion. Uh, the Pantera shoots him. Damages his Amarak. Quick tap of the 4-key. Uh, fixes the Amarak. I'm more of a 5-con. Five 
key kind of guy myself. But he's now shot a, he's now tracked a tank three times. He's also uh, damaged a tracked tank three times. Can he get this mission? I don't know if he's going to get this mission. The artillery shooting there towards the AT-15. Nine fours to score. Two kills to sign only one from Kebab Clan. Looking at that, he gets the fourth tracking shot into the uh, into the AT-15. Now, it says that the mission's complete, but it's not really complete because uh, he hasn't damaged a tracked vehicle uh, enough times. But uh, but he'll certainly get there. 10-5 the score. Two kills to Cy-91 from Kebab Clan. 2,994 hit points of damage done. 1644 assisted damage. There's only five, four tanks remaining now. 11-6 the score. Um, nine minutes left on the clock. They've given up on the cap. In fact, that 703 version 2 who was trying to cap, uh, he's actually, he actually got killed. He actually got uh, taken out. Not sure who killed him. Um, may, maybe, oh, maybe Artie. Could have been anyone. Anyway, 7-11. 11-7 is the score. Two kills to Cy-91 from Kebab Clan. Looking for another damaging shot to uh, to track it. To, uh, uh, look, looking at trying to damage another tracked tank to complete this mission. I'm not sure if he's going to do it. Going to probably get rid of the Artie first. Gets rid of the Artie for his third kill. He, um, there's the Centurion 1. He bounces the Centurion 1. Is he going to go for the tracks? It looks like he was. And he gets it. He gets it. It must have. He must have tracked him and killed him at the same time. But now for the secondary condition, he needs to kill three immobilized vehicles. Well, that was one of them. And, uh, and the win to get it with uh, with honours. He's already got the primary condition. Uh, I'm not sure who, if he'll be able to kill both of these tanks. And uh, if they're tracked, if they're tracked, maybe he will. Bounces a shot from the Pantera. 3,799 hit points of damage done. Can't get it with honours now. 14-9 the score. The Scorpion G takes an interest. Leaves Psy-91 on two hit points, which is one hit point more than he needs. Um, Fires doesn't quite... Land the shot. 4,100 damage. He's still charging towards the Scorpion G because he wants that assisted damage. Because that assisted damage will help with his mark if he's um, if he's going to get the third mark today. Peaks gets taken out by the Tier 8 Premium German Tank Destroyer. But he picks up that last bit of vital assisted damage um, on the way to an epic victory. 15 to 10. Let's have a look at the replay and see if he... See if he uh, gets the third mark. He does get the third mark. Now, of course, on these uh, these replays, they don't always show about the missions. Three marks of excellence. Not bad. Not bad at all for Cy-91 from Kebab Clan. In the lands and sea, Ace Tanker Mastery Badge, Spotter Medal, Bruiser, Duelist, Fighter, Fire for Effect. He got a bond for the Pascucci's Medal, and uh, he topped the score charts with 1,758 base experience. Five kills, 4,100 uh, damage, nearly uh, 3,650 Assisted damage, of course, assisted damage helps not only with marks of excellence, but you're not firing bullets to get it. So you're not, uh, you don't have to pay for those bullets. You uh, you get, it's free credits all day long. And have a look at that, 93,500 credits. That's after tax with a premium account, even though he's clearly paying full price for consumables and he was firing uh, premium rounds. So if you have a good game like that, there was a personal mission payout there of 77,000. But um, not a bad result, not a bad result at all. Sign 91, you absolute legend. High five on getting that mission. High five on three marking that tank. And I uh, can tell you what, he'll, he'll have an object 260 in no time if he keeps uh, doing missions like that. Once again, thanks for the replay, Sign 91. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care and see you all next time. <laughs>